Listen, listen. Honestly, I do not want to be here at all. I feel so tired. I feel so exhausted. Like my heart, it's not just here. I just don't want to be here. But because of the self person I am and having this mindset of always wanting to be the best and being disciplined to get things done, my mindset is pushing me. So today is just one of them days. You just don't feel like doing anything, but you just have to do it because you see the long-term goal, the long-term vision. Okay, to start off my day, currently the time is 10.25 and my breakfast is basically three eggs, herbs on top of it, a piece of ground bread, a bit of some salt as well and here I am having some pomegranate, orange, one full orange, rice pudding, I forgot what they're called and of course I'm having a glass of water inside the glass of water I have put vitamin C just one of that and if you look carefully on my food because I am training and my training will be high intensity there's a lot of carbohydrate just so the brown bread is carbohydrate the rice pudding is carbohydrate so I'm pretty much just loading my system with carbohydrate and here as well just protein you know protein is very important when we're training it helps us to recover really quick as well so that's why I'm in we have some protein there and with the fruit it's just the basics you need to get your vitamins and minerals and stuff so it also helps with digestion what sort of things do you have when it comes to your breakfast let me know in the comment down below last night i had a game but i did not take part because i am suspended i've received a red card a couple of games ago so far i have missed like two or three games and last night was my last game so obviously i did a warm-up then from there, I end up just doing some fitness runs. I go back home around 11 o'clock, half 11, and I pretty much just chilled. I could not fall asleep, so I went to bed around 1 a.m. So I'm just being real and on point to you, so you all kind of just understand what it's like as well, playing non-league football. Right now, I am off to training, and the plan is to basically build onto my fitness and maintaining my sharpness because it's my responsibility to make sure that I am fit, strong, ready to go when the team needs me. Tomorrow will be Thursday, which we will be doing some team training as well. It's going to be quite intense for two hours. And on Friday, I will be resting. So I am ready for Saturday game, which I'm going to be back playing. So during these two weeks off from football, I have just been working so hard to maintain my fitness. And so far as well, I have lost so much weight and I feel stronger, sharper anyway. So the grind is not stop right now. So I'm going to go off to the football pitch and just finish what I need to do. Let me ask you this question. Sometimes do you feel like, yeah, this is not for me anymore. I want to give up. I can't be us doing it. Do you feel like that? Honestly, do you feel like that? Because honestly, that is me right now. And for me to be here, paying this pitch like three times a week, four times a week, it adds up a lot, you know, over the month, it adds up. And I'm just thinking to myself, am I going to make it? Am I sacrificing all these things to become a pro? Is it even worth it? But hey, it's life. Life is challenging. Football is challenging. Okay, to start off the session, I'm going to do a minute run. I start my session with always a warm-up. Ideally, I'm going to be working for about a good 10 minutes. And during the warm-up, I am focusing on specific movement. So I'm basically working to activating every single muscles because they are so important to my training. So the more I can activate my muscle fibers, the better and easier it is for me whenever I'm training because I'm able to perform every exercise to my full range of motion and whenever I'm performing a drill or a having a technique, it's helping me a lot because I am generating a lot more force and more flexibility and full range of motion to be more able to perform the drill and the movement as fluent as possible. That way, it will help my session with my warm-up. Ideally, whenever I am training, I am gradually increasing the load on my body. So obviously, I start my warm-up about 40%, taking it steady and from there I get to 60 
you get to see how I'm increasing the intensity of the certain drills that I am doing. So these are some of the few exercises that I am doing. Also with the warm-up, ideally I am trying to target different sort of movement that I will be doing. So from going forward, backwards, side to side and so on. That way my body is fully warmed up and ready to go into the high intensity drills that I've got planned further down the line. Okay, once I have done all those slay things, ideally I like to move on to some footwork. With me, I'm using some spear ladders. If you don't have any spear ladders, you can set up some cones few distance apart. So ideally, I am going to focus on different movements. So going forward, backwards, and this sort of exercise are just perfect to make sure that you are up to speed, ready to go into the more intense drills that I've got planned further down the line. But anyway, this is what I'm gonna be doing. Ideally, I'm gonna be working on here for the next two to three minutes, nothing crazy. Remember, it's still part of the warm up. The spear ladder drills are perfect as well to work on your coordination. So as a footballer, it's important to have a good coordination. In life, it is hard. There's gonna be certain part where things are quite hard, are quite challenging, but it's all to do with how you overtake it. And linking back again to football, you know, if I have a bad performance, I have to come here and work hard. I have to do the extra run to stay fit. And linking back again into life, I always want to be in a frame of mind and in a good kind of circle of good people that share the same value and belief as me to become a better person, to help and inspire and motivate the world, you know, because like I've said, most footballers, they neglect the ankles. So it's important to always work on your ankle stability. I have finished all that. On here, this is still part of the warm up. Ideally, I'm going to be working on some ball mastery. I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to be working in here for about four minutes. That is me done. I end up just doing that for about eight minutes instead. My legs feel a bit lethargic, so tired. Obviously, last night I still haven't really fully recovered. Um, the, the runs that I was doing last night were high intensity runs. This is the next part of my training. A couple of years ago, when I said I want to help and inspire a lot of people before I leave this earth, my teammate kind of just laughed at me and this coaching staff laughed at me and so on, but that never really brought me down. For me, it gave me a lot more of purpose and motivation. So if you're watching this, thank you for being here because I truly believe I am going to leave a positive impact in your life. So if you're new as well, subscribe to my channel. And on top of that, like I've said, I don't want to be here, but for me, it's my responsibility to make sure that I push myself and I keep going and to be the person that I want to be and I've always said this look in life sometimes even if you reach for a higher standard and you fail it's okay at least you've tried and you feel good about yourself so for me I know that I'm doing everything in my powers giving 100% week in and week I am not perfect okay I don't expect you to be perfect either I'm just a <coughs> pardon me I am just a human being so ideally I'm gonna just keep working to the best of my abilities and if I am going to be a pro, I am going to be a pro. At the end of the day as well, I am a Christian, okay? I have just slowly just started to find my faith again with God and I am so grateful that I am in this position to play football, to do the things that I love and so on. So yes, my people, I love you, okay? I just honestly just love you. I just want to help you. So I just want you to feel good about yourself and me being down, I know right now I'm a bit down, but I cannot be projecting bad thoughts and energy to you because I just want to be giving positive, positive. But I just want to show you that, look, today is just not my day, but I'm going to be here and just working. And then, you know, just push myself to become a better version. But anyways, there's no excuse. Enough talking. I love you. Okay, let's go. Give the people something different. For some of you, you might be thinking, what on earth am I doing? Listen, I have played at professional level before. These are the sort of things that we should do. Um, obviously, Resistant training is very good for you. I forgot to tell you, I am basically working for about 15 minutes and 
the aim is that I'm always going to be in a training zone. So ideally, I am moving from station to station. So I have set up everything before, so I know exactly what I'm doing. So I'm moving on, moving on. So currently, this is my rest, but I'm filming this. But because I haven't really been playing any games, I am trying to replicate the sort of like match fitness, match tempo level that we'll be having in a game. So like there, I am working on getting up, change of direction, tracking back. That's obviously with the resistant band, it, it putting pressure on me, dragging me like in the game. Sometimes defenders will get hold of my shit. I mean, they can have it at the end of the game. I can sign them if they want, but anyways. So obviously that's what I'm doing there, making it more challenging, realistic as well with resistance training. But now I am going to move down here. So whenever I'm training, there's a purpose behind what I am doing. It's alright, you wanna say hi to my YouTube? Look, he's, he's, he's always working, look, he's always working non stop. Yeah, it's coming. I promise you some boots. Half of it, size 9, yeah? I haven't forgotten. They're coming. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to be a good man. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> alright. <laughs> See ya! <laughs>
to be successful, you have to fail. So all them failures are building up, building up, building up. Truly, this is what I believe. You will never be successful if you don't fail. Because failure is what builds success. So me missing balls like that, kicking balls away like that. Listen, that's part of training. But what's most important is that I am here training. Mindset is powerful, believe. Awful again. But I cannot be sad. I just can't. You just have to keep working. No one cares if you fail, bro. No one cares. Just work harder. This is me right now. I failed. I don't care. I'm gonna work. Yeah, I kicked that ball over. Try to help me. Jeez. She basically found my football and she tried to throw over, but she could not. And she was like, I'm so sorry, I could not help you. And obviously, she is an old citizen, so I told her just to leave it there. And I was so grateful that she found the football for me. And I was just speaking to her there for like a good couple of minutes. But today did not really go as planned with the shooting part, but I felt good about myself in terms of fitness wise and yeah anyways i'm going to the gym yeah today's gonna be legs cardio fitness but then yeah sometimes yeah i'm gonna try my best and see how i do yeah okay thank you anyway see ya just having a quick chat like always with my people you know what i mean i'm for the people i'm the man of the people anyways i'm going to get my football right now this is how lazy I am. I'm joking, man. I'm not lazy. Because I basically just drove a few yards <laughs> just to get my football. Let's go. Obviously, my guy, yeah, bro, give me a man. Yeah, we all know a friend that says I'm always five minutes away. But when in reality, five minutes away means like 15, 20 minutes. Well, that is me. <laughs> uh, if you know, if you know a friend like that comment down below so I won't be there in eight minutes Say goodbye and I, didn't have I am basically back home I made a quick stop I'm basically having my yogurt from earlier this morning that did not have I am also having this fruit quick drink of water yes he's gonna finish me <laughs> I can't tell uh, I love my people man obviously he understands the sort of person I am Obviously, we just met like what last week, and we just heard it build a strong bond and a positive impact. Let's go. Yes, yes my guy. <laughs> I got go. What did you say earlier? That last message. Bro, about about you taking ages. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. You made me wait almost two hours, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. It's so good, bro. So First good. and last time, man. <laughs> I was just knackered from last night. Yeah, because I came back home around um, 11, didn't it? Love my guy. Yeah. Killer station? Yes, yes, hello. Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm here. Oh, I am here. No day off. No okay. Obviously, PT for the day and that. Uh, what are we doing today? Start off some weight shadow boxing. Yeah. Then we're gonna do some pad work, like getting that head work up. We're gonna finish it off with this brutal back session. This is part of the last push of the day. So freestyle for the first time. You might be thinking, you're a footballer. What are you doing boxing training for? But listen, it's fitness. That's the main purpose. 
This morning, I didn't want to train at all. I was like, nah, I cannot be off training today. But it feels good that I am training now. I'm just, I'm just gonna push myself. Something to eat real quick. I don't know what to eat right now. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, water first. <laughs> this is basically my dish. I need more water. Making something to eat. Oh, I've just remembered. I don't have vegetables. I need to go to the shop. Veggies, anyways, let me go and cook there then. Okay, it's cooking for the time being because my food is still cooking. What I'm gonna have is basically some yogurt, literally high in protein. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I'm always trying to cook rice. Coaching, I'm starving. Let's go to work. Nice. A lot of rice. Tomato, red pesto sauce. Obviously, plenty of veggies. So important. You know, get your veggies in. And obviously, for my protein, I'm having one piece of salmon and the chicken leg, pretty much. So, this is my food right now. Drink iced tea for now, just a little bit, nothing too. So, I'm gonna have this, and obviously, I still need to have something to eat again before going to bed. I'm gonna show you that. The time right now is. Yes, my baby girl, say hi. You know that sound? It means subscribe to my channel if you're new. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go for a walk. You wanna come with me? No? Okay, I'll go, I'll go on my own then. You don't wanna talk to me? Okay, okay. She fell, she's upset, mate. So the time currently is. Yeah, that's the time. Alright, I got carried away with work pretty much on my laptop. And then I'm gonna get something to eat again. But it's nothing crazy that I'm gonna have. Ideal is gonna be. My yogurt, if not this yogurt, anyways. Pretty much, I'm gonna have an apple, one fruit. So far, I've already had as well one fruit. So that's basically me done for the day, in terms of food wise and training. Uh, but I am going to be doing a bit of some mobility right now. Nothing crazy. But that's literally it. In fact, I'm just gonna do it here. I was supposed to be going to the gym, but I'm gonna just do it at home today. Uh, once I finish this, I'm gonna jump in the shower and that's me done. Get ready. So I've got an hour. Yeah, I pretty much have an hour to be in bed. So I go to bed around half ten usually. So latest is eleven usually. And yeah, that's literally it. Anyways, catch you later. I am going to take on a journey for the next three days of my life. For anyone that's trying to become a pro footballer, this video is for you.